Hey there, and welcome to my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you never miss a moment like this one. Because tonight, something huge is happening in Southeast Asia. Across the thousands of islands that make up the Philippines, there's a feeling in the air, something electric, something different. People are pausing, looking around. From packed city streets to quiet fishing villages, it's like the country just took a deep breath. And now it's holding it. Why? Because everything might be about to change. Just hours ago, the president of the Philippines stood at the podium with a calm face. But the words he spoke, they shook the nation. A discovery. Not just any discovery, a massive oil field hidden deep beneath the West Philippine Sea. The kind of find people only dream about. For a country that's long struggled with rising fuel prices and relying on energy from other nations, this feels like a miracle. The moment he made the announcement, something shifted. In Manila, traffic slowed. People stopped what they were doing, stepped outside. Shops turned up their radios, TVs flickered on, mouths dropped open, eyes widened. It was as if time stood still. This wasn't just news, it was history. The oil field, already being called the Appalach, could be one of the biggest ever found in the region. But let's forget the numbers for a second. This isn't about data. This is about a country daring to dream again. And here's the wildest part. No one was even looking for oil. A team of scientists was actually checking for earthquake risks when they stumbled on something unexpected, something huge, a hidden treasure locked away underground for who knows how long. Months of testing confirmed it. This wasn't a small discovery. This was a game changer. So tonight, the Philippines isn't just watching the news. It's standing at a crossroads where the past meets a future filled with possibility. This was a game changer. Dr. Mendoza put it perfectly. We weren't chasing wealth, we were chasing knowledge. And somehow we found both. News of the discovery has lit a spark, a flame of hope that's spreading across the islands. For the first time in a long time, Filipinos everywhere are dreaming big again. Not about leaving, not about working overseas, but about building a life right here at home. You can hear it in the conversations, parents talking about better schools, students imagining careers that don't mean saying goodbye to their families. Even fishermen, the same ones who've worked these waters for generations, are looking out across the sea with new eyes. That water, it's not just survival anymore, it's power. And the internet, it's on fire. TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, flooded with memes, artwork, reaction videos. The hashtags number sign new ERF and number sign Appalachian Dream are trending everywhere. But beneath the humor and the excitement, there's something real, a deep growing belief that maybe, just maybe, the future finally belongs to us, to the people. But this moment, it's bigger than just oil. This discovery could rewrite the very shape of the Philippine economy, new jobs, thousands of them, in energy, in construction, in shipping, research, education, even tech. Construction companies are already making plans to grow. Tech startups are paying attention and local businesses buzzing. Picture it, smooth, newly paved roads reaching the farthest barangays. Health clinics finally equipped with real machines, real tools. Teachers using up-to-date books in classrooms with lights that stay on. This is nation building. And when the president called it a gift from God, many nodded in agreement. But they also know gifts this big come with big responsibility. Economists, leaders and everyday people are already speaking up. They're calling for a sovereign wealth fund, a national savings plan, so that this isn't just a short-term win, but a long-term transformation. A future built not just on oil, but on renewable energy, on strong agriculture, on world-class education, on digital tools that connect every Filipino. Because here's the truth, oil can lift a country up, but if we're not careful, it can pull us down too. We've seen what happens when greed takes over, when progress is traded for power, 
when nations forget who they're really building for. The Philippines now stands at a crossroads, must be built with care. Yes, there is wealth beneath the sea, but we must protect the earth as much as we draw from it. And the gains? They must lift everyone, not just the powerful or privileged few. If this is truly going to change the nation, it has to be grounded in transparency, accountability, and bold, visionary leadership. Because while we celebrate, the world is watching. Already, oil prices have shifted, markets are reacting, global powers are paying attention, not just to the oil, but to what it means. Some experts say this could shift the balance of power in Southeast Asia. Others warn of rising tensions, especially with China's long-standing claims in the West Philippine Sea. In response, the US has stepped forward, reaffirming its defense commitments to the Philippines. And energy giants around the globe? They're knocking at the door, eager to invest, to partner, to be part of whatever comes next. For the first time in decades, the Philippines isn't just seen as a developing nation, it's being recognized as a rising force, a strategic player on the world stage. But the real story, it isn't playing out in boardrooms or headlines, it's happening in living rooms, in cafeterias, on street corners and sidewalks, in the quiet conversations between brothers dreaming up a business, in the hopeful eyes of a student who believes she might finally get that scholarship, in the whispered prayers of a grandmother who sees hope in her lifetime. This isn't just a resource boom, it's a rebirth of identity, of pride, of purpose. Across provinces, communities once divided by politics or poverty are finding common ground. Mayors, governors, barangay leaders are holding emergency meetings, not because of a storm, but to prepare for progress. From Luzon to Mindanao, there's a shared promise rising. We will get it right this time. Because the oil beneath the sea is valuable, but the true legacy will be what we build above it. The question is no longer, can the Philippines rise? It's how we'll rise and who we'll bring with us. The dream of a strong, self-sustaining nation, it's no longer far away. It's here, it's real, and it's ours to shape. This moment isn't just about barrels of oil. It's about building a country where success doesn't mean leaving home. Where kids grow up knowing that opportunity isn't across an ocean, it's right here in their own backyard. Where we stop looking outward for hope and start looking inward to our land, our people, and our unstoppable spirit. The Appalachian, that's just the beginning. What happens next? <laughs>